80% of the value in your resume is in your experience. Application tracking system is so smart that in 2% of the times, it fails to identify a potential candidate for a position. Dosto, in my career as a software engineer, in the last three years, I have reviewed 100 plus resumes, interviewed 50 plus students for software engineering internships, full-time software engineers and hired many engineers as well. And if you just check out my LinkedIn right now, just search for terms like Google, you will find tons of recruiters. Search for the term Meta, you will find many recruiter in mails in my inbox. And also if you search for Amazon, you will find tons of these emails and messages. And why is it happening? And today, for that reason, I will give you a research-based formula to build your resume right now with me and i will be starting from an empty resume make it the most impactful resume you can think of plus i'll be showing you my resume that recently got accepted by amazon google facebook meta apple so let's start with this research which was done in 2021 for most of the tech resumes what is most important according to this research most important is the substance what you write in your resume is more important than style whether it's two column, one column, that's not as important. What is most important is what you write in your resume. What's the impact in it? So with that being said, let's go to simply docs.google.com. I'm going to quickly open the two column resume because that doesn't matter. What you write in it is most important. Here you will just enter your name. And the first section we're going to start with is your heading so in your heading your name and here i will recommend everyone that address is not important but phone number is definitely important your email is important and here right below it it is great place for you to put in your github plus linkedin and in order to reduce the number of words do not write github.com slash i have no just say github then colon slash slash and then they know that it's username linkedin colon slash slash and then username and the next is your portfolio if you have a portfolio my portfolio is ihanoor.github.io so i will put my portfolio if you have it and make all of these hyperlinks so i will make ihanoor a hyperlink so i can right click and then we will choose insert link and here i can put in the whole link https then github.com slash ihanoor apply and now this is clickable if you will share a pdf with someone this link can be clickable do the same for linkedin and your portfolio and this is my portfolio by the way so i'm just going to copy that link and here just going to type in the word portfolio If you have a website, it's really easy and I will leave the video where I showed you how to make your portfolio as well. It takes one minute to choose a template and you can host it on GitHub pages and it is very impactful. So let's reduce the hyperlink. Okay, this is done. Next, education. According to this research, they say that go for two column, even though content is more important. If you go for two column, it allows you to segregate your education and achievements from the content. So dono separate ho jate hai. So achievements and your education on other side. So I'm going to go to that resume template I showed you. Here I'm going to put education on the right hand side. So I'm going to copy this education, which is less important. We can put it in the end on the right hand side right here. So in this education section, I will recommend you to put your name. So I'm going to quickly put, put it with you. Georgia State University and degree degree is important you should tell the name of the degree because it is part of the keywords they go through as well which I will come to later so we can put bachelors and I did masters as well so you can put put masters as well and here I will put in like my GPA only put GPA if and only if it is good if it is like for example in India it's like 10 right so if you think it's close to 10 or above 7.5 plus you can write it but if it's less than that you don't need to put it because it reduces the impact on your resume so put it only if it is good so here i will say uh, that i studied from 2016 to 2019 
and I can say computer science and then put hyphen so that there is separation computer science hyphen and in one word we can write that my GPA was GPA 3.9 whatever the GPA you have and see how beautifully it has formatted we can increase the font size later so do the same for your master's degree if you have and I did masters from the same college so I will put it like this and I did it from 2019 to 2020 and then computer science and GPA was 3.7 let's see so education done simple straightforward you don't need to put anything other than that if you want you can put in the name of the city here with computer science I can say Atlanta campus if you want to it's just up to you now next your skills according to this research as well your resume is like a story it's like a newspaper it should be easy to navigate so we're going to type the skills that are important and also using the keywords so let's say I go to Google jobs so many people what they used to do was they go to Google jobs and I search for any software engineering position and in that position people used to copy the whole description so this is the whole description and then they go to a software like chat GPT or any other software and ask chat GPT Ki bhai, give me the keywords so paste give me keywords for ATS which is application tracking interface when you submit the application they look for keywords that's what people used to do and i am not recommending you to do this there's a reason for it so it will give you all of these keywords and there is no guarantee ki har in their application tracking system these keywords will filter out your resume there's no guarantee so that's why my best practice will be categorize your skills so in the skill section we will have three categories number one category will be of languages and put it in bold and then colon and here put all the languages you know like java so i'm gonna remove the bold and then java kotlin and then python c plus plus go whatever languages you know just type it and then next for ats we will type in which is most important is libraries frameworks you have used so here we can make a section called frameworks or libraries whatever you want to make so we will make frameworks or we can call it technologies which is the best way to present and here in technologies we can just type in let's say i have used android studio we can just type android for it if i know ios development ios for it if you know the mern stack or full stack programming technologies you can say mern with the keyword for all the technologies you use in it for example if it is angular node all the technologies you use and you know you should put in now here in the skill section to have a powerful resume as per the keywords you should also put concepts so concepts you used are like object oriented programming so all of these keywords you can get from chat gpt by going through all of these job descriptions but i have categorized these ats system into three categories skills technologies and concepts in concepts you can also write object oriented programming and in technologies if you want to you can also write ms office which is not important for software engineering if you want to you can write in concepts other things are like functional programming Agile. So if you go through these keywords, many of these job descriptions say Ki yaar, we want someone who has worked in fast paced agile framework. Many of these job descriptions you will go through have agile written in it. And here other concepts that are important is what design patterns you use. If you don't know about them, they are basically like MVVM, MVC. These are just design patterns. If you have used them, do mention it also shows your skills. Plus, on top of that, it is a great idea to write some backend things you have used as well. In technologies, you can say REST API, which is a concept. You can put it in concept, technologies, it's up to you. And in technologies, it will be called MongoDB, which is a REST API. And in concepts, it will be called REST API. So it's good that you mention both. So this covers the skill section. Now there is something in this research which I do not agree with. According to this research, 90% of professional resume writers say that you should not talk about your hobbies. But in my category, in my interview experience, I think putting one hobby is like breaking the ice. It means that you can start a conversation easily. When I had many interviews, they asked me like, like for example, I used to play basketball at the time in my high school. It was my first year. So in that 
टाइम वेन आई हैड मैं बास्केटबॉल दे स्टार्टेड ओ आर यू प्लानिंग टू बी द नेक्स्ट माइकल जॉर्डन एज अ जोक ही पॉइंटेड आउट सो इट कूल्स द वाइब इफ यू पुट अ हॉबी बिकॉज इट इज अ वे टू जस्ट keep the interview environment less stressful so i personally think if you can you can add a hobby section as well so here in the right section you can just copy this structure and put in hobbies in my time i always wrote about my youtube channel so which you can put as a hobby many recruiters may say that they don't want a youtuber or social media influencer but it never happened with me amazon might be the one who might be against it but most of the companies were awesome about having you having a youtube channel or a page and you can write you make travel coding videos whatever you make and you can write 100k or whatever subscribers you have you can mention it here as a hobby tiktok page whatever page you have it is good to have as it makes a very chill environment for the interviewer and interviewee now next projects according to coursera's research they say that when you show off your personal projects it shows off your passion for programming so no matter how much experience you have at least put two to three projects to show your experience now let me tell you how i put my projects so my resume is completely empty i will put let's say a simple project that i built for a hackathon so this was OCR and here I will put the name of the project so I can name it anything like it was a simple grandma app I can call it grandma app that I make at at a hackathon here I can put that I made it in android all the frameworks you use you should write here android kotlin like just write at least one programming language next to it here in bullet points the structure of putting experience is first line should tell what the app is about so what the project is about so here i will simply say that build an app that allows user to take a picture of of medicine medicine box in us they call it prescription so i can in parentheses write prescription and convert it into audio description so you take a picture of medicine let's say it says disprin it will say that i am a medicine for headache so it gives you the description of the medicine so this is a vague description it's okay if it is vague they will ask you questions now in the next line what is most important is impact which most students do mistake is right here here there is a formula the formula of writing and showing impact in project experience is as follows so it should say accomplished x as measured by y by doing z so the good example of this will be impacting let's say do you want to know how many people i impacted i can google what are my customer base my customer base is people who don't know english for this app so i will say impacting 5 million potential people with low english proficiency and in in this audio description i forgot to tell you it is in their native language in any language so i, I the, there was a, there was a there was a feature in this app that it can speak any language so i will say put impacting 5 million potential people with low english proficiency to quickly identify their medicines so or prescriptions so this is this has all the features of this impact formula so i am i have accomplished that i am reaching grandmothers as measured by 5 million people that's the measurement i provided plus by doing what that's i did not mention by doing what i wrote in my first line so that is clear in two lines so this impact formula overall is covered in two lines which you can use for any project any experience and you should definitely do it so basically yaar yeah, this formula you have to show in one two three lines i will recommend one to two lines but you can represent in as many lines you want वंस अगेन यार रिजल्ट इज द किंग रिजल्ट मीनिंग इम्पैक्ट तो इम्पैक्ट से या रिजल्ट से पता चलता है आपने क्या उखाड़ा है विद योर प्रोजेक्ट इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट यू डिड लाइक हंड्रेड लाइन्स ऑफ कोड और वट एवर वॉट मैटर्स मोर इज वॉट रिजल्ट यू ब्रॉड लाइक सेविंग थाउजेंड लीटर ऑफ वॉटर रिड्यूसिंग द टाइम स्पेंड ऑन दैट एल्गोरिदम बाई ट्वेंटी मिनट्स और ऐप ओपन होने में थर्टी मिनट्स लग रहा था यू रिड्यूस्ड बाय ट्वेंटी मिनट्स रिजल्ट इज द किंग नाउ विद दिस स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन पुट एज मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स यू हैव आई विल रेकमेंड पुटिंग टू टू थ्री प्रोजेक्ट्स सो 
based on the space I have, two projects are enough. I personally think you should not try to oversell. Two projects are good enough and keep the rest for awards and other section. Now, with that being said, let's start with experience. So experience is the most important section. According to the research, majority 80% of value in your resume for experienced software engineers is in your experience and those who don't know ATS application tracking system is so smart that in 2% of the times it fails to identify a potential candidate for a position so you should worry about it now the most important section work experience according to this research for an experienced software engineer 80% of the value in your resume is in your experience so make sure you work hard enough on it so here i'm going to start with position number one so let's start with first company it should be in the reverse order the last experience first so last time i have experience at microsoft so i will mention that first location atlanta and if it is remote you can say remote and here software engineer the position and here you can say month and month is let's say july 2020 to to july or present here in this case present and for other experiences let's say for the second one if it is ncr you will say july 2021 or 20 whatever it is to july 2022 something like this and here you can write the content now here let me tell you the best formula to write content for your work experience the formula is first line should tell you about the project here i will say that worked on a project or app, whatever it is, with 30, 40, whatever the user base is. In my case, it is 40 million users. And here you can show off how many projects you work with and with backend of 2 million lines of code and a cloud based infrastructure you can show off that you have knowledge of cloud as well so this is a great way of showing a high level picture of your project next project will be what you did here i can say that i worked on let's say five features some description which i cannot tell you right now but some, some description after the features you worked on the next important part is automation which is very important for software engineers you can say that automated tests or you can say automated the entire entire QA which is quality assurance experience by reducing the workload from 30 hours 20 hours to one hour so let's say you reduce the time and you can write better keywords by using the Harvard template there is a template by Harvard resume keywords this template is very very useful it has all the keywords you need for a powerful resume and if you want you can also use chat gpt for these keywords make sure these keywords do not repeat there's also there's also a website called resume worded which can help you in measuring the impact as well but overall the formula of writing is same and here also you have to make sure you follow the formula of impact is equal to accomplished what as measured by y and doing doing z so make sure this is fulfilled for every experience as well and the last part that i want to cover is your awards if you do not have awards you can skip it but i did have awards so in my awards i will mention all of them right here so let's say number one is hack gt best best health hack let's say in hack category you had a best health hack next in one line i can say that uh, hack emery which i went to here i had best overall project or overall ios app something like this so make sure you write all of this you don't have to give huge description you can what you can do is if you want to add description you can convert this right click convert into hyperlink so that if you're sharing with with someone as a pdf they can click on the resume and open github tutorial youtube tutorial for your project so this sums up the entire flow of making your resume i will try my best to link in description as well but you can find this template the first template in google docs and if you want to see my resume it is right here it is a similar template so it is 
right here but the content is most important than how you represent it single column double column everything is okay but content is king by the way dosto i am getting great feedback from my android cohort jinhone nahi join kiya please remember to join with the link in description below it is a great opportunity to learn the full cycle of software engineering testing publishing your apps for android and ios and thank you so much for watching Just take my